Hey guys, American Free State. Well, it didn't take long after the FTX implosion for Bitcoin haters to start taking shots at their favorite target. Among the biggest haters is metals maximalist Peter Schiff, who on his blog Schiff Gold taunted Bitcoin hodlers with an article titled, Time is running out to convert nothing into something. Nothing according to Schiff meaning Bitcoin and something meaning gold, silver, and Ethereum. More later, on why it's strange a metals guy would tell his readers to ditch Bitcoin for Ethereum. But first, let's dive into Schiff's thesis and why he's wrong about Bitcoin in the aftermath of FTX. Now, Schiff's article starts by stating Bitcoin has zero value and asserts the fragility of FTX applies directly to Bitcoin, which he contends will also implode because Bitcoin's price is being artificially propped up by whales. FTX, however, was a crypto exchange with zero Bitcoin on its books, which makes Schiff associating Bitcoin to the FTX crash even more of a reach and frankly suspicious as to his motives in using the FTX collapse to claim Bitcoin is going to zero. Now, for anyone who's been through a couple of these market cycles, you'll notice a pattern among certain groups, in this case gold bugs, when Bitcoin makes a large correction. And that is them getting their time in the spotlight to say that they told you so and you better sell your Bitcoin and buy gold because Bitcoin is going to zero and the sooner you get out of Bitcoin and load up on gold and silver, for which they have plenty of affiliate links to, the better you'll sleep at night. This theme will run for the duration of the Bitcoin correction until Bitcoin takes off again and people panic because they sold it or weren't averaging in during the correction. And I'm not saying gold and silver aren't valuable. A lot of good people own gold and silver for very good reasons. I'm saying that the problem with these opportunistic narratives like the one Schiff promotes in his article is that they do a lot of damage by getting people whipsawed between cycles, chasing Bitcoin in an up cycle, then dumping it in a panic because they don't have enough conviction in or knowledge about the asset. Now, taking a closer look at what Schiff said about Bitcoin's impending doom, his new theory that Bitcoin whales are holding up the price of Bitcoin to win back institutions, Schiff never says what Bitcoin price these whales are trying to defend, for one. And two, I don't know how large holders of Bitcoin can entice institutions to buy in and push its price higher. Do you? I think financial institutions know Bitcoin is going lower along with the rest of the market and are simply sitting tight. Another problem with Schiff's theory that whales are grasping onto their dying Bitcoin and hopes financials will save them is this idea that large Bitcoin hodlers made speculative emotional decisions they now regret. Where I would argue that anyone holding onto Bitcoin from $60,000 all the way down to $16,000 either doesn't understand the concept of stop losses and shouldn't be in markets anyway, or is so committed to the asset that they see intrinsic value that they don't want to let go of, no matter what markets are doing. Bitcoin, remember, may be the world's most valuable asset, but by virtue of that, it's also one of the most volatile because it's unregulated and decentralized, which is exactly how it should be. There should be somewhere in the world a truly free market where speculators and market makers can participate without interference and manipulation from governments, regulators, and central bankers. Well, guess what? Bitcoin is that market. Caveat emptor. Schiff concludes his Bitcoin is dead article by stating he made more money in crypto than gold and silver, and then oddly suggests that those who want crypto exposure buy Ethereum because at least Ethereum has some value, quote unquote. This is the most unusual statement in Schiff's article because one, Bitcoin is not crypto, so why compare it to Ethereum? but also because Schiff is suggesting readers sell their Bitcoin and buy a centralized digital currency immediately following the largest crypto scandal in history, where crypto, not Bitcoin, is now staring up the barrel of stifling government, government regulation following the FTX scandal. In a way, it's like Schiff is misleading readers from the decentralization, security, and freedom of Bitcoin into a trap of centralization and government regulation with Ethereum that Bitcoin and crypto are the same thing, and Bitcoin's fate is somehow tied to these failed, shenanigan-plagued centralized exchanges like FTX. That is confusing and disingenuous on its face, 
and should be called out for what is is, which is Schiff taking the opportunity markets are providing to shame his most threatening competitor, Bitcoin, and prop up his markets, gold and silver. Of course, market behavior, whether by products or people, is what it is, but just recognize what's going on here and why. Now, as for Bitcoin, I think we should realize it's still a new technology that most of the world does not understand, use, or as of yet have a use for. But we should also remember that adoption of the most common technologies of today were once awkward and obscure in their infancy until they weren't. Bitcoin, however, isn't just some novel technology tied to a blockchain. It could literally revolutionize the world by decentralizing finance all over the world, and some say it already has. Ask yourselves what could be a bigger threat to the established world order than that. So regardless of price, the fundamentals of Bitcoin never change. It cannot be censored or confiscated by any government or corporation. Bitcoin can be 100% owned by you and held in your custody. It can be transacted anywhere in the world without the need for banks, financial intermediaries, and best of all, its supply can never be inflated into oblivion by central bank monetary policy. A link to Schiff's article is in the description. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time in the American Free State.